So the previous video got really, really many views and I'm a little surprised. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the subs and welcome to the channel. But there are many comments that the video was too long, too much rambling. So let's get to the point and I will try to also make other videos, new videos, more like concise. But without further ado, let's go to the video. Hello there, my name is Lanius and I practically betrayed all the things I was originally promoting on this channel, which is using Linux, using either Vim or Emacs, I mean it's not that I started hating on it, I just stopped using it due to some issues. The Linux thing I already explained in another video, but I never publicly admitted on this channel to using VS Code, which is actually kind of funny. But yeah, although I come to you as a changed man. So my betrayal was kind of complete to the point that I wasn't even using Vim motions to regular editing because after WSL basically breaking all graphical applications coming from it, I was stuck with CLI version of Emacs, which is really good, don't get me wrong, but GUI is really the shit or is the bollock if you're watching in the UK and after literally few days of fighting with it or even attempting to use native Windows version of Emacs I have finally broken just went with VS Code bunch of extensions almost no customization other than theme I initially wanted to use Vim mode but some key bindings weren't working because of it and I was already so fucking tired with customizing stuff at this point, I just went without it. At first it was a little annoying, but got used to it quite quickly. Just assumed that some amount of pain is normal and just continued. It was nice, I have even switched to Obsidian with my notes and started enjoying this polished GUI life. You know. I wasn't even really that good with org mode anyway. But at some point I started thinking about maybe picking up NeoVim again. Instead of that I just enabled finally Vim mode in VS Code, changed some things around, also enabled it in Obsidian and it felt so good, so right. I told about NeoVim intensified but then I remembered that all I was doing with Vim was trying it to make it more like Doom Emacs but only if it just worked fine in the fucking WSL. Well my issues with WSL led me to minimize usage of it only CLI tools but at some point I just wanted to have working clipboard so I made some very non-elegant fixes for it and forgot about it. To be exact I am just recreating the X server symlink basically every time I start a new terminal which seems a little stupid isn't it? Well wouldn't you know if it works it's not stupid. And yes, X applications just work again. Emacs just works again. Due to this grand return, for the first time ever I have cleaned my config EL. Also added some useful handcrafted little tools for my work to that and to become too likable for Emacs users out there, I disabled org mode at least to the point I could because I use Obsidian inside Emacs. Why would I use Emacs if I haven't wanted to do everything typing adjacent in Emacs? Why not org mode? 
because it always was kind of an overkill for me and also I want to have good or even perfect experience using my notes on a phone. Org mode was always a sub experience and I never even use it to the fullest. So mark down with this. I'm feeling the ellipse parenthesis closing around me as we speak. I'm back and not going away. Also, my dot files were updated and I might do some kind of setup tour. And also, I have a few words to say about Endeavor OS again, but it's coming soon. Maybe. Well, about the GUI part. Right before recording this video, I started using a fancy WM, which is like automatic tiling extensions to Windows Window Manager. So, basically, tiling Window Manager for Windows. It's quite awesome, but it can't handle it. it cannot handle WSL Windows at all. So I just decided to use CLI version of Emacs anyway, since I use Windows native versions of Western, which is also awesome. I might even prefer it over Kitty. Anyway, I abandoned Emacs because of GUI not working, and then opted to use the GUI uh, version anyway. Hong Kong clown moment. But if I'm being honest, I'm not entirely sure I really need fancy WM. I can just move windows normally. The way of switching focus using keyboard, which was the main reason why I started using fancy WM, just doesn't work that well. I need to switch to given display first and then I can move between windows, so it's completely not like Linux tilers or window manager extensions. So I might stick with the GUI anyway. Okay, so I guess that will be it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Like, comment, and subscribe.